Welcome back to Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series, Six Months of Set Theory and Higher Order Logic. This is Logic 301, month number three on Piano Arithmetic. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at No Branching Number Lines, also known as Piano Postulate Number Four. So, with only three postulates, the number line could have branches. Successorship could be a relation like is the child of, where each individual has more than one parent. Each number could have multiple predecessors. Because successorship is a function, each number can have only one successor. If you input a number, you have to always get out the same other number. But that doesn't mean that each number must have only one predecessor. One could be the successor of both zero and one itself. Note that this would still be a function in this case, since every time you put in one number, you get the same successor. If I put in zero, I get out one. If I put in one, I still get out one. That's still a function because it has d multiple inputs to a number doesn't make it not a function. It would only be if it had multiple outputs. However, this is not what we want. We are trying to model a straight sequenced number line where each number has one and only one successor. To do this, we need a fourth postulate. The fourth postulate states that no number can be the successor of two other numbers. In other words, no two distinct natural numbers can have the same successor. Stated another way, if the successor of one natural number n and the successor of another natural number n are identical, then n is identical to m. This means that we cannot have any branches to our line, since each number has not more than one successor. While this gives us a lot of what we need to prove with the natural numbers, we have yet to prove what they are not. We have not excluded the possibility that there is an infinite line of numbers starting at zero, as well as many self-connected independent loops of numbers that are each each other's successor. Imagine that we have this independent line of numbers as well as a small loop where A is the successor of B and B is the successor of A. This meets all of our postulates so far, but it's not what we're talking about when we're talking about the natural numbers. Because they're not in the starting line, we couldn't prove that they are natural numbers, but there's no way for us to disprove that they are either. To do this, we're going to need the last postulate, and the most complicated of them all, the principle of mathematical induction. Up next, we're looking at that, the principle of mathematical induction. Watch this video and more here at Carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.